What's going down folks? It's your boy C23 back on the sticks once again with another NCAA 14 Dynasty video for you guys. As you can see, this week's opponent is Boise State. But before we get into the gameplay, there's a couple of things that I want to address really quick here. The first thing is, I'm a little bit under the weather here, so I'm not sure if you guys can tell in my voice or not, but I do not sound like myself and I really don't feel like it. So I'm just going to do my best to try to push through it. The next thing is, later this video, you guys are going to notice some random square popping up on the left side of the screen. I have no idea what caused it, nor did I have any option to get rid of it when I was editing. So I do apologize for that. If it has any impact on the video being terrible at all, once again, I do apologize. I'll try to get it straightened out. It could be my capture card, but I don't really know. So I'm going to play around with it a little bit tonight, and hopefully I can get everything straightened out. Now that we've gotten that out the way, let's go on ahead and get into the gameplay. As you can see here, Boise State going with the run game, and they're gashing me for huge yardage, just like every other team this entire season. My run defense is just terrible, flat out. But we get bailed out by the clipping penalty there, so it's coming back. And now they're looking at a second and long now. Of course, I'm going to accept that penalty on second and 12 here. Their QB takes the snap and the shotgun, looking downfield, has all day in the pocket and gets rid of it. But our defense does a good job and is right there to break it up. And you know what, you guys? I'm just now noticing something here. The QB for Boise State, his last name is Rippin. I wonder if he's any relation to Mark Rippin, maybe a cousin or a son. Well, one of you football heads out there, drop me a comment below and let me know, because that'll be crazy if he actually was related. Anyway, getting back to the gameplay after the defensive stop right there, we come out going to Gibson. You guys already know how dangerous Gibson is. There's no need to even talk about it. Gibson making a nice catch right there. Next, going up the ground game to Lynch. Lynch runs for a nice four-yard pickup and setting us up with the third and manageable. Third and three now. Stewart taking the snap, looking downfield, dumping it off to Lynch, who's wide open, making the catch and getting some pretty decent yards after the catch, too. He ends up picking up 14 on the play and moving the chains. Next play now, first and 10, trying to go back to the ground game with Lynch, but he stops short. He only picks up two yards on the play. Now we're looking at a second and eight. Stewart in the gun, looking downfield, trying to attack through the air, but the pass is broken up by the DB Hartsfield right there. So now we're looking at third and long. And as soon as Stewart throws the pass, he knows that that play is not going anywhere. Lynch is covered. As soon as he makes the catch, he gets tackled. So now we're looking at fourth and seven. And you guys know me. I will not hesitate to stay aggressive and go for it on fourth down. And it pays off right here as Lynch makes the grab, moving the chains for 14 yards right there. So we're able to convert the fourth down and keep the chains moving. Next play, Lynch breaks off a pretty good run. The play was designed to go outside, but he cut it right back inside and took it up the middle for a huge gain. So then on first and goal, we just hand it right back to him and let him punch it in because he kind of earned that one on that drive, folks. He made a lot of good plays for us. So now we're switching sides on defense again, and once again, we are just completely gashed. The horrible tackling just continues to plague us the entire season long, folks. So after the huge pass play right there, they're set up in the red zone, and they just dump it off to the back for an easy score right there for an eight-yard touchdown. And just like that, it's a tie ball game. So we have to come back out here and respond. Going back to Gibson, connecting with them on the seam pass right there, picking up 20 yards on the reception. Sometimes you just got to go with the bread and butter to start the drive and get some positive momentum. But check out this next play. My guard that was supposed to be pulling the block for me ended up escorting me right into the pile. This is just a ridiculous play. He's not even concerned on where I'm trying to go. He's just trying to get to his spot, and in doing so, he ends up pushing me right into the pile and gets me tackled. Anyway, though, we gain four on that play and a nice pickup on the first down by Gibson right there with the catch. On first and 10, though, going back to the ground game once again, Lynch picks up four on the ground and is a little bit slow to get up, but he ends up shaking it off, coming right back. Next play we try to go play action but someone doesn't do their job and the linebacker is just left free to scream all the way in there for the sack but we do not want our quarterbacks getting hit by free blitzers like that we definitely need to do a better job moving forward in blitz pickups anyway getting back to the gameplay on third and 16 the only thing i could really do there is try to dump it short and hopefully break it open but we end up getting nothing that play and we're forced to go three and out next possession on first and 10 they try to pass over to the sidelines we're right there to cover it and then on second down they're going right with the pass play again but we're right there and ooh, that was a big hit at the end so it's third and two now we're trying to get a stop to get off the field and my d tackle flies in and gets the deflection on the ball right there bringing up a fourth and two but check this play out i think the quarterback had a man open if not for that deflection that probably would have been a first down conversion so after the athletic play by my d tackle we take over on first down going to richardson with the pass play right there next play coming up with lynch trying to hand the rock off and he ends up getting shut down before 
before the line of scrimmage. So he loses two on the play, bringing up a second and 12. Stewart in the gun, looking downfield. He has time. He has a man open and fires the pass as Gibson making the catch on the play right there, setting us up with first and goal. Once again, going with the screenplay, and the Boise State defense is all over it. I might just need to take the screenplay out of the playbook altogether because it's not been working. So on the next play, I fire a pass into Gibson right there, and that was kind of a risky play right there, but Gibson was able to make the catch, and we end up going back up seven in this one. Getting back on defense now, Boise State throwing in the coverage and is picked off by the linebacker. And the great thing about that play, folks, is check out where it sets us up on offense. We are pretty much at the 20 yard line here. So Stewart comes out in the shotgun, looking downfield, trying to make a play and puts the ball right on the money, but it's dropped. I'm not sure why the running back dropped it right there. Maybe he was just too scared about taking a hit. But look at the dart on the next play. Richardson rips the ball out of the air. And I hate that long comeback route from the far side of the field because it leaves too much time for the DB to make a play. But Richardson had great awareness on that play and was able to shield the DB for the catch. So we're set up now in goal territory and all we do is come out and dump it off to the tight end right there. The other tight end, Evan Fonts, not Gibson, just to switch things up and show the other tight end some love too. Now getting back to the gameplay, we try to go with the ground game right there. We gain seven yards on the play, and then we go right back to Lynch on the next play, and look at the stiff arm he delivers on the DB. Oh my goodness, he just got underneath his face mask and tossed them back at least a good four to five yards after the play. Once he hits the ground, it's like he bounces and keeps rolling back. That is a ridiculously powerful stiff arm right there, folks. So as you guys can tell early in this drive, we're trying to feature the run game here a bit, just hoping to create a little bit more balance on offense. So the next play, we mix it up and go right back to the pass play right there. Gibson with a nice 17 yard completion, bringing up a first and 10, going right back to the run game and Lynch breaks off a nice one right there, picking up about 12 or 13 on the play. Then we give it back to him again for another rushing touchdown on the day. Lynch is getting it done out here, folks. This has to be Lynch's best running game all season long so far. So moving things into the fourth quarter now we're just trying to ground and pound it and milk the clock as much as possible because we really don't want to give Boise State another chance to put up points especially not with our suspect defense today folks that is not a good plan so we did a good job at about eating up four minutes on the clock and then settling for three we'll take the points to extend the lead a little bit now can we get a stop this is huge right here on first down the pressure gets there and forces the incomplete pass bringing up second and ten now Ripping with the pass and gets it over to McNichols for a nice completion of about seven yards on the play. Now they're looking at a third and four situation now. Ripping having all day in the pocket, but nobody's open downfield, and that is a coverage sack. Great job by my secondary. So now it's fourth and 12 with a minute left in the game. We have to step up huge here, folks. Ripping with the pass is completed near the sidelines. The first tackler misses, but the second tackler cleans it up. And our defense does a great job. We're able to just come out and take a knee on the next play. And that is your final, folks. We take the W in this one, 31 to 24. And taking a quick look at the stats, you can see Stewart had a decent game right here with 221 yards passing and two touchdowns on the day. But the game MVP today has to go to Lynch with 28 carries for 131 yards, averaging 4.6 yards a carry and two touchdowns. That's his best game of the season. So he gets the game ball today in this one, folks. And hopefully we're able to keep this thing rolling. Anyways, folks, I'm up against it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. I'm signing off and I'll see you in the next one.